Maybe there's been some mistake. I'll go to the morgue. I need to see them. Always with you. Always have been. We won't leave you for a second. Remember the first time you hit Ellen? She got mad at you for drinking too much. Yeah, we were there. Or when you got so hammered you pass out in a pile of garbage bags in front of the bar. Yeah, we were there too. Fun times. Well, we're always with you, Maddie. We won't leave you for a second.
No, that means that... that Anne and Ellen... strange feeling. I feel... I don't feel. I feel... I feel... I can't... I can't move. Oh God. Why? I haven't been here in a while. I signed the papers. Ellen? I also told Ellen, Anne about her problems. About your problems. I don't know if I did the right thing, but I couldn't keep it a secret Ellen. anymore. <laughs> Look at we me. We need to move on. Learn to live again. All I know is I haven't felt this good in a long time. We live in the suburbs now, in a small house. I work five days a week as an editor at a local newspaper. And after work, I come home and Anne and I talk about everything. I feel like we're best friends. We're happy. And we get by. If you can hear me, I want you to know this. I know Anne was everything to you. That's probably why I lasted as long as I did. I swear I'll take the best care of her. Don't worry about her. I spoke to Father Leonard recently. He told me some souls are just troubled. Some people carry wounds in their hearts so deep they can't heal. So forgive me, I wasn't able to heal mine, and you constantly made new ones in yourself and in me. I hope you can finally rest now, that you'll go to a place where you won't be haunted by your father's shadow. Sleep well, Matt. Find the peace you were missing your whole life. I try to remember only the good times. In my heart, you'll always be the boy who took me to Ellen, the lighthouse and told me how wonderful it would be when we got away from there. You gave me all you were able to. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>
They say you can hear me. I don't even want to imagine what you must be feeling. I'd accepted the fact that you were gone. I'd accepted that you'd no longer be here. I was ready to bury you. I even felt happy for a moment. But no, and this is just like you. God damn you, Matthew Palmer. I don't know what to do. I don't even know what I feel. I think I'm angry. Huh? Oh, that's kind of sad. I'm angry at you for being alive. I'm angry at you for fighting for your life. I sound like... like I wish you'd die and finally leave us alone. Right? Like I was hoping I'd finally be free of you. But if you really can hear me, know this, Matt. There's no going back. Even if you get up off this bed, too much time has passed. I'm not scared anymore. I don't feel guilty or responsible. I crossed you out of my life. And now you suddenly come back like some fucking ghost? Well, fuck that and fuck you! I'd really like to tell you something nice. Sorry, but I just can't. If you don't want to give up, if you are holding on to life so dearly, then fight Matt. I don't know where that will get you. I wish you luck.
That's it. I've had enough. Let this end already. When I first came to, I thought I'd gone mad. Or that I was dead. Though I didn't think death was supposed to hurt your eyes so much, I was drowning in light. It burned through the cracks of my eyelids and flooded my consciousness burrowing into me in hot, relentless waves with one short message. Fuck me. I'm alive. No. No. I'm losing my... Nope. I'm passing out. God. I need to get up. I need to start moving. I can feel it all hanging over me. It surrounds me and closes me off like a giant cocoon. The weight of my sins. It's finally empty inside though. There's only me. I have nowhere to run. I can't hide. I can't get away. I can't escape into a glass of whiskey. I can only lie here motionless and stare off into nothingness. Into the black abyss hanging over me and ready to swallow me whole. Take away everything I was. Take it. Just take it away. Please. I don't want to think anymore. I don't want to feel. Because every thought hammers straight into my conscience, screaming my sins aloud. I am the monster. I'm a stranger. I've been one all my life. I ran. I tried to break out of this. Husk. I've been shut inside for years. It dragged me down constantly. Unwillingly. No. <laughs> That's bullshit, Matt. Be honest, man. Not unwillingly. I went down willingly and gladly. That's the truth. I don't know why I came here today. Despite it all, I wanted to see you. A few weeks ago, I just wanted to stop loving you. Believe me, I wanted to hate you. Mom explained to me that it doesn't work that way. That she doesn't know herself how she feels about you. And that all she really wants is for you to wake up. So, the decision to unplug you is kind of on hold now, I guess. They say you're showing signs of improvement. When I found out, I felt a weird pang. I'm not sure what it meant. Despite everything you did, despite all of the pain and disappointment, I can't just leave you like that. 
I can't turn my back. That would probably be easier, but I want to believe that people can change. I want to believe you can change.